Bemidji boys tennis is off to an impressive 4-0 start to the season. Return virtually everyone off last year's roster and with the addition of some new faces, along with an old one, the Jacks have their goals set high for 2018. Four matches in and Bemidji has impressed on both singles and doubles so far, outscoring their opponents 26-2 individually. If you look at the scores, it's really promising to see that we really put them away, not letting a lot of those teams stick around, which is sometimes hard to do against weaker opponents. Everyone's back from 2017 along with some hungry youngsters, so cracking the lineup will be very competitive. Our depth is so good that everybody's getting pushed every day. So it's not, you know, there are years where you kind of know who your starters are the first day. The kids know as well as the coaches do. But right now, our, we have five doubles teams who are going to push each other every day. But even with how deep the Jacks are, they're still strong at the top. Led in singles by the lengthy assassin Spencer Konishny and the newcomer foreign exchange student Nick Bufo. Over the summer I worked a lot on my backhand and ground strokes and my footwork and being faster. When you have a real dominant one like, like we have in Spencer then uh, it's hard to push them every day in practice and now with Nick here uh, their styles are a little different which is, which is nice in a lot of ways because they get to see that, you know, a different look out on the court every day. Doubles wise, senior captain Luke Hess returns from injury, joining his brother Silas Ben with Colton Mikalichek, along with the top pair of veterans Nick Palmer and Cody Hendricks. I think our doubles that have a lot of chemistry, the top two doubles, they played together last year all through the season, so I think they got some good chemistry that they can use to their advantage against other opponents. So with their depth and experience, Bemidji is ready to ace their goals. Keep getting better throughout the season, and then we want to get the section championship, go to state. Make it into that section semifinal, make it to that section final, and then hopefully we can punch a ticket to state. They are set to return the courts to the courts a week from today, hopefully outside at the high school, fingers crossed, hosting East Grand Forks. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.